Okay guys, I get it. It is finally time for me to reveal my secrets when it comes to finding LPS online. Now I will just be revealing some of my tips. You know, I want to help you guys to find good LPS lots and not end up with fakes. But you guys need to keep in mind that some of these tips might be very obvious for some of you. But just because there is a lot of you who seem to struggle with finding LPS, I'm just gonna go through some of the basics so it will be easier for you. So I've got three main topics that will kind of be the red thread in this video. And so these three main topics are searching, filtering and choosing. And you guys are like, what the heck is she talking about? <laughs> the first topic is mainly about how to find the lots. The second is how to filter out the bad ones. And the third one is how to choose the best one out of the good ones. So when I guide you through these steps, I'm gonna be on the website called eBay. And if you watch my videos, you will have noticed that all of the packages I've opened in the past are from eBay. But if you have got any other websites that you prefer such as Amazon or any local second-hand store sites then that's freely up to you to use there shouldn't be anything stopping you from that so yeah let's just get into this video shall we so the first main topic I will be talking about is searching and in this topic I've included some subtopics keywords sort price range time buy now or auction okay so if we start off with the whole procedure of finding lps obviously you need to search for the lps you want and it's really important to think about what type of keyword to use so that is the first subtopic so my main tip about this is to keep it simple let's say you watched an lps tuber open a hundred pack with lps and now you want that really bad so you go on whatever website you're using and write in a hundred pack with lit list pet shops you're trying to search for that and uh, bad news for you ebay found zero results there are no 100 pack with lit list pet shops because you need to shorten down what you have written and use some other types of words like there's no need for that pack there's no need for that with the chance of you finding exactly 100 pets is pretty small so there's no need to have that 100 if you're mainly looking for a lot and no kind of specific pet, then there's no need for you to be specific in what you're writing. Instead, you should try to focus on different type of words such as lot or bundle. Or I'm sure there's a bunch of other words, but I'm gonna go with lot. And so then we try searching. Let, let's patch up lot. What have we got here? 10,000 results. That's a bit more than zero results. And you know, you could even try misspelling if you want to. Try that little patch up lot. We only got 100 results. Like these people usually don't know about LPS, the worth of them. You know, there's a big chance of finding some really good lots here. So now when you use some good words to search up and you've got a lot of results, it's time to start thinking about, do you want a buy it now option or auction? When you go on auction, you're gonna have to bid to win. Like, wow, this is only 12 euros. No, the price is most likely gonna go way higher up because when you're an auction, you need to bid to win. Like you're competing against other users. The one who places the highest bid gets the lot. You know, buy it now, you see a listing and you can buy it at once. But if you're up to anything, you know, you're fine with auction and both buy it now, then keep it to all listings. And so eBay has a couple of sort options. One thing I always do when I search for like little special lot is that I go on newly listed. Because here you're gonna see the lots that have just been listed. And there could be some really good pets here. And I think not going on newly listed is missing out. If you want to buy something at once, go to buy it now and newly listed. Or you could try to go ending soonest or auctions. Like here you can see here's a auction that's ending in 30 minutes. So if you're a bit sneaky, you could go in there and place a bid in the last second and see if you win. Now you want to find a good LP slot. I recommend you to go to a sort option where you can get the highest price first, which is what I'm gonna do next. And now I know what you're thinking, like this is probably way out of your price range, same with me. But you should not get freaked out too much, because surprisingly the next subtopic is price range. On whatever site you're using, there should be a type of price range option. Here on eBay, it's on the left side. How much am I willing to pay? Let's say I do not want to go over 50 bucks. So there's always this like price range option, so you can easily do that. But since I'm situated in Finland, you can see that it's not going to be accurate because of the shipping cost. So I'm actually going to go back. So I would recommend you to go down here on the side and then skip like a lot in pages. 
because right now, okay, we can skip a bit more. You can see that the price is about 70 euros right now. I want to go down to 50. Okay, yeah, so now I'm on page 22. So that takes me to a price range of about 50 euros. So now when I keep scrolling, I'm only gonna find listings that are under the price of 55. So that's great. Even if the price range is a bit lower now, you can still see that there's some really great lots out here. The main thing about when you find the best lots is obviously when you're online. Like there are different time zones, people post at different times of the day. You should not go on eBay and just be 100% sure that I'm gonna buy something today. You should always wait for the best opportunity to buy something. Just imagine if you bought something that you kind of liked one day, like you wasn't too sure about it but you just felt like you wanted to buy something so you bought it and then the next day your dream lot is posted and now you can't afford it because you bought that yesterday. Okay so right now you have found a bunch of listings. How do you know which ones to choose? How do you know which ones are good? How do you know which ones are fake? Looking through every single listing will take a long time and it's really unnecessary. You can easily skip many of these listings by just looking at their appearances. And that's what I call our second main subject, which is filtering. And the subtopics to filtering will be photos, listings name, price, country, quantity. You know, photos is obviously the first thing that you're gonna pay attention to. You know, if I scroll down here and then I see, whoa, okay, that's a lot of pets. That looks interesting. But then it's really important to keep in mind what the title of the listing is. If you only paid attention to the picture and you decided to buy this because you thought that you would get all of these pets and you didn't even read the title, that's a big no-no. Because if we look at the title, we can see that it says Litless Pet Shop, random, 75 pieces, 50 pets and 25 accessories. And while that still might seem like a lot, that's way less than you saw on the actual picture. Because if we compare that to the lot we just looked at, like this one. Here you can see that everything you see in the picture, you get. The title and the photo, they go together. And so the relation between photos and listing names is also extremely important when we example go to Lois first and start looking at these from China. The same goes for those. You know, you see all of these but then you look, oh, that's only three pieces, you only get three pieces. So you can see by just the picture that this is fake. You can see that this owl looks messed up, this llama looks messed up, there are no porcupines that look like this. And when you see this extremely low price, even if it's just three pieces, no. And so while it's pretty obvious to tell that these are fake, it might cause some problems when the listing starts looking like this. Because, well, these look like real ones, don't they? But you need to take a look at the country where these are sold from. You know, bidding from a couple cents from China? No. I'm not saying that all LPS from China and Asia are fake, because no, there are a few exceptions, but these are just straight up fake, and you should not even think there is something else. You know, the same images on every single listing, you'll see them everywhere. If we scroll up to these again, it's the same photos on like every listing. It's fake. So if I pick in Asia, we're gonna see only LPS from Asia and yeah. Here's a 15 piece lot with a lot of rares and you're gonna know that when there's a bunch of these like rare ones, it's from China, it's relatively cheap. No, it's fake. And so when we come to these like random 50 lot, you can see that these are small LPS. These are the tiny ones, the new ones. Yeah, you can see here, 53 sold. You need to pay attention to the quantity. You know, this could be a United States seller, because I've seen some of these as well, that have like collies and other such things. There have been 53 of these in stock. There's no way that someone just happens to have these many and can sell them like this. From Hong Kong, way too big quantity, no. But as I said, there's a few exceptions, like, look at this, there aren't any fake ones produced like these yet. And there's actually shipping, not these like, oh, free shipping, free shipping. You know, this seems legit, this seems authentic. This would be worth looking into buying. This above wouldn't. You see the difference? And this is still from Hong Kong. What you're gonna do is to learn to see what's actually legit and what isn't. You should never trust any of these 
unless it's one of those exceptions that I just showed you. Like, look at this, what is this thing? Okay, so now when you've found a lot of good listings, it's time to start investigating which one is the best one for you to buy. And that brings us to our third main subject, which is choosing. And this topic has got a lot of subtopics. Photos, description, total price, reviews, complete sets, random lots, price per pet, worth. Okay, so let's say you've been looking through eBay and yet yeah, all suddenly you find this really good lot. It looks great. So now it's time to go and take a closer look at the listing that you're interested in. And so the first thing you want to do is to take a closer look at the photos. That is extremely important. So you need to go through, see what are the accessories, how does the pets look? Oh, there's a dachshund and there's a shorter cat that I didn't see at first. And then it's important to go and read the description as well. All pictures in the six rooms include thing up firm all real genuine little pet shops when they have stated that they're not allowed to lie okay i bought them new no china yank this person is aware that there are a bunch of these fake ones but they have now stated that these are real this looks really good okay and then taking account the price 80 dollars and about 40 dollars shipping and that is to finland so it's cheaper if you live in the us and so before you buy you need to take the whole price in account you cannot think that you just paid 80 bucks for these pets you need to like put this together that would be 120 bucks for these and so i would even have to take the customs in consideration because the price 120 dollars exceeds how much i'm allowed to ship into finland without having to pay customs so i would even have to pay additional costs to get this into finland and so next up you should also look at the rating of the seller like this is a pretty good rating but if we're for an example go to one of these asian sellers so let's say you really want to buy this quality and you ignore all the warning signs because you know it could be authentic and so you see oh five stars go to product ratings oh original and cute wow that's great you need to go and check out the negative reviews okay here you can see the first one they only sell fake LPS. Fake LPS. It's fake LPS toys. I'm not impressed, it's fake. No, 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 no. It's fake. This seller is officially selling fake LPS. But yeah, you could go and try to check out this seller's... This seller's got one negative. But this isn't about it being fake. This is some other trouble, okay? And so if we take a look at this lot as well. Let's say you see this Cocker Spaniel and you want it real bad. But you're not too sure if it's fake or not. Then a really good tip is to, you know, look up what is that Cocker Spaniel. And with that, I mean that you're supposed to go on some LPS talking. Search up LPS Cocker Spaniel, okay? And you go to pictures and you see it. There it is. What number is it? It's 156. Is that correct? This one also says the number 156. Okay, you search up LPS 156. Okay, there it is. And then I like to go to this like LPS Nicole's blog because she has like answers to everything LPS related. And here you can see that this one is from a carrying case. And if we look down here, it's the same Cocker Spaniel. Here it is in its original packaging. Here's a Cocker Spaniel and here's a frog and here's a carrying case. And if we go back to the eBay listing, we have got the original Cocker Spaniel, the original frog and the original carrying case. And that means that the Cocker Spaniel is authentic. And so that's basically something you can do in like every lot. Because the best type of lots you can find is the lots that people sell away. Like people selling away their children's toys. But yeah guys, you should not give up hope just because a lot doesn't include like, like this lot doesn't include any accessories. All of these dogs did not come in the same lot. You know, the seller could easily have lost the accessories or they're just selling these dogs and they're selling the other pets in another lot. But the whole searching up the original set is a really good tip that you should keep in mind. And of course, there is this small chance that the seller could have replaced the original pet with a fake pet. But I used to have a really hard time imagining that someone would do that. And now when I've said that, most likely everybody's gonna do that, but yeah. And so my next subtopic will be covering the whole idea of these random lots. And my main tip to you is to just avoid them the higher the price gets. Like when buying 
a lot like this 50 pets you know a hundred bucks you could end up with something good yes but there is such a big chance that you would just end up with these like bad pets that you don't like and then just a couple that you like instead of spending a hundred bucks on 50 pets just go to a listing and spend a hundred bucks on something where you know what you get like in this lot you get a dachshund you get two hooker spaniels and here's a bunch of collies and this does seem legit as well you should really know what you spend your money on okay i'm not trying to dismiss and be like do not buy any random lots but when it reaches these higher amounts of money you should be really careful and skeptical so yeah today i haven't really seen any good lots for a pretty okay price you know they have all been pretty expensive but that is also a thing that could take us to the next subtopic, which is uh, the worth of the pets. And with that, I mean that you need to take in consideration how many the pets are and how much you pay for it. Here we have 11 horses for 50 euros. And if we divide that, that would be about 5 euros for every horse. And if you wanted to buy that, I want you to think about, you know, if these were sold separately, would you really pay 5 bucks for every single one of these? And that can also go with the same for like these Great Danes. Like 50 bucks for 4 Great Danes. That might seem like quite a lot, but if you take and divide that, that's about, you know, 12 euros per Great Dane. That's a pretty good price for an authentic Great Dane. I personally would not pay that much, but if you think about the fact that these normally are sold for about 20 per Great Dane, now you would get one for about 12 per, and you even get some accessories. You know, if we go and take a look at the bigger lots now. This lot, we have 90 dollars for 55 pets if we divide that that would be around two dollars per pet would you be willing to pay two dollars for every single one of these pets you see that short hair yes you would definitely pay two dollars for that but would you pay it for the hamster down there so yeah calculating what the price per pet would be is a pretty good tip i would dare to say so yeah guys, you have now officially completed this tutorial. You're now the very best at finding LPS online. No guys, I'm no expert whatsoever, but I am a collector by heart and I just want you guys not to end up with fake LPS or being scammed or not finding anything good to buy. And yeah, it that seems legit, doesn't it? If there's anything you're wondering about, if you got any questions, please leave them in the comment section. I will get back to every single one of you. Thank you so much for watching this video and yeah, peace out. This is gonna be a really hard video to film. Ow, my knees, ouch.